Welcome to the fifth session of discussing divine truth qualities, or you could say the qualities of God's truth. And uh, if, if we look at the last few sessions that we've done, we can see that basically we talk too much <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and therefore couldn't cover everything that we hope to cover. So this, t this particular session, we are hoping to cover the last couple of qualities of divine truth. So that'll be four questions and then uh, have one more question about living in truth and what it means to live in truth. With the other sessions, uh, this will sort of round out all of the sessions on the divine truth questions. There's still over a hundred questions associated with the divine truth subject that we haven't covered, but we felt that we wanted to cover these qualities of divine truth first because it helps uh, overcome the questions of how do I determine what is God's truth and what isn't. So that's our primary purpose today. So I hope you enjoy our session today. And I think this time we will get through the, <laughs> the four, four questions we have to answer. Thanks, guys.